Hey guys, and welcome to Bath City. Welcome all of you Romans. The fun times still are continuing at the moment, but we're at a, I think, a very important juncture where everything could change for the good or for the bad. Obviously, in the last month in February, I did tell you guys we had a couple of problems, namely with Wintel and Kuya. They were both, obviously, players that have been with us and doing very good this season, but their teams were not letting us get them back on loan for the rest of the season. And I couldn't fix it. I wasn't able to bring those guys back. They weren't able to sign them. So I've had to try and find things to fix this problem, which has been very difficult because there were basically no players that I could sign. But I did manage to get in one player, and I have another player, for Kuya. I found a replacement in Kyle Emanuel. He is a player with Bristol Rovers. Now, obviously, Bristol Rovers is our parent club, so hopefully this will make it more likely he'll sign for us. He looks about as good as Kuyo when it comes to star rating, and his physical looks potentially very good. His mental looks okay, um, and his ability, actually, his technical stuff, doesn't look too bad either. You know, good pass in 10 to 15. For me, that's very important. Uh, not great marking and tackling, but you know we got we got Sarpong for that type of thing. I'm just hoping he could be de halfway decent to come in, give us a bit of extra support. He's young though, so I don't really want that because we've got quite a few young players ourselves. But it will just have to do for now. But he hasn't signed just yet. I'm waiting for him to answer. The team has accepted. We're waiting for him to make his decision. Now for Wintel, Wintel, I don't think we could really replace. He was amazing this season so i found a player just to kind of come in to kind of mix up with him and ashton as the attacker midfielder we've got lewis rayleigh he actually doesn't look that different to wintel he looks kind of like a slightly worse wintel only slightly but he's got some good free kick taken that's something we do need though ashton as you guys saw last time his free kick taken has been getting better and better so we brought him in um it's more an extra thing He's found it difficult to get used to the team. He's not been doing that well for the first few games he's been here. But hopefully he gets eased in. Wintel had a similar problem when he first came as well. Now, apart from that, we've also got in some new young players. Lots of new young players. Uh, some of them are put into the under-23s. You can see we've got quite a few now with one stars. Uh, we've got Peter Ashcroft here with one star at the moment. who could potentially go up to maybe three stars. Doesn't look too bad. He's only 16. He's not looking too bad. Ten cross in there. Maybe his mentals, it would be nice if they were a bit better. He's got, you know, nine work rate, 13 teamwork, and 15 flair. So that, that's some good places to have some good stats in. So he could potentially be someone for the future. We've also got John Hibbard. Uh, he's one of the, the kids from last year. Um, he's now a one star. He's a right back. Very good corners, actually, and free kick taken, interestingly enough. But he's not got good tackling. So personally for me, uh, I don't know, he's not got good tackling or good dribbling, so he can't really play as a, a wide midfielder with that bad dribbling, and he's not going to be a good right back with that bad tackling. So personally for me, I don't think he's going to come into anything probably. Uh, Jack Jenkins, I think I showed you guys as well before, but we would actually got another good young player. He could be the next Ashton. Let me have a quick uh, show for you guys. Bob Bruce. So he's one and a half star. So obviously, you know, only half a star more than the other guy I showed you. One of the new ones from this year. But, you know, he's the same age as that other guy. You know, 16 years old. Bob Bruce got a very good jawline there, apparently. He's an attacking midfielder, which is exactly where we do need a good player, actually. It's funny. We lose, uh, obviously, Wintel in attacking midfield role. And this guy comes in. And look at his physical. The 16-year-old. That is pretty good. Not good strength. But then again, maybe he doesn't need that. You know, if he's technically good, you know, and he's very good at passing and whatnot and intelligent, you don't necessarily need him to be good at strength. But look at his flair, his teamwork. Um, he's got good first... Well, not great. His uh, technical is probably his weakest area, but he's got it where it counts. He's got dribbling, crossing, finishing, first touch, passing, and technique. If these can be improved, you know, to tens, that could be really good. Bob Bruce could be a, a little star... He reminds me when Ashton came. Ashton, I think, was one and a half stars as well. Maybe Ashton was two stars, if I remember correctly. 
but his potential there's looking pretty good. So I'm very excited about this little guy right here. So some interesting times, a lot of changes at the clubs, and the times are you know good times are rolling. We're still fourth at the moment. Well, I say still fourth. We are fourth at the moment. We're still in the playoffs, but this could go any way. This last month has been kind of a very tense month. Um, hasn't really gone our way completely, but then again, the last few months have been incredible, so I don't really think I have that right to complain about the last month. I think we just lost the momentum. You know, it was going to go at some point, so we've lost that momentum, I feel like, and obviously losing Wintel and Kuya, and in this month, Ashton was injured for three weeks. So we didn't have Ashton. After, the, after that game, you guys saw last time where he did incredibly. The next game he played, he did good, but he got injured. And we've not had him for three weeks. So we've not had a lot of our best players the last three weeks. That's probably affected, I hope it's affected, how we did this last month. Hopefully we can improve. We're two points away from the automatic position. But so is, like, everyone. Everyone is incredibly close to the top. We're only two points away from falling out of the playoffs as well. So at the moment, everything's up for grabs. Anything could happen. This is a really a decided moment. This month probably will decide everything possibly. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's hope this good form keeps continuing. And we'll go over what happened in the last month. Uh, last time for you guys when we played, we played against Gateshead, which was 5-0. A great game. Ashton showed me maybe that he can replace Wintel. After that, we played against Slough. Slough have had an awful season, but we talked about them before. They've done incredible to get to this league in the first place, so they have nothing to be embarrassed about. We beat them 4-1. Good to see that, you know, a low team at the moment in the league, we can beat them quite comfortably. Again, it's good for our uh, position and goal difference. You can see here the fans. We're you know, taking away their fans, we had a thousand fans about, and we are always hitting basically a thousand attendance at the moment, which is really good to see. The fans are starting to come out. I can't imagine if we went professional and got into League Two, I, I could really see us getting quite a few fans. Bath is a big city. I've said this before. There's potentially a lot of potential here in this club. Billy Murphy scored, Junior scored, and Ashton scored two goals before being injured. Sadly, but he's back now. I think. Um, after that, we played against Borham Wood. This is when our momentum disappeared. But think we haven't lost since the middle of December. That was really that was a really good run. But next, we played against Borham Wood, and we lost one nil. Just one goal. And as you can see here, we played quite well. We were very unlucky not the score. Look how many people were here for Borham Wood. You know, this is the team that came up with us when we got promoted to this league. And they're getting a tiny amount of people. I mean, possibly it's partly because we're maybe not a big team. So maybe a lot of their fans can't be bothered to go watch. But yeah, I was kind of disappointed with that result. Really felt we could have continued it. Then after that, I started to get really worried because we played against Dover. And we lost 5-1. 5-1. You know, we've been beating teams quite well over the last couple of months, and then this came along, you know, we had that 7-0, the 5-0, 1,200 people came to watch this game, Junior scored, so he's continuing his run of form, but they just, they played so well, I gotta give it to Dover, they just completely outperformed us, it's a very sad there, that started to get me really worried, I started to think, uh-oh, because we've lost those players, is this now where things fall apart, is this now where we get the crash, but after that game, we played against Morecambe. Morecambe, I don't know what it is about Morecambe. I feel like I never beat them. I feel like every time I've played them, yeah, we lost last time. But this time we managed, a, we managed a draw. But I feel like every time we play them, that damn shrimp always gets the best of me. You can see here we got a lot of shots, a lot of control. We really should have been winning that game. I remember watching this game and thinking, what is going on? Again, 1,200 people there. So really starting to get the fans in. I kept watching them going, how are we not winning this game? Coogan's always scores against me. I don't know what it is about him. Don't know what it is about him. Let's see. Look at that. National League. 12 goals his first one. Then 25. At the moment, 13. He's a good little player. He's on my shortlist. Okay, yeah. So he's on my shortlist. So you never know. Maybe once we, uh, if we can improve. You know, I keep looking at these players that would never come to us. You know. Players that are like basically, you guys are too low for me. 
I would never come to your club. I keep thinking, one day, one day you'll see. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to say, I've been getting a lot of attention from other clubs as usual. I am staying with Bath at least until the end of the season, definitely, because we're doing so well right now. I I can't leave. This is this was the dream. This was the dream. Uh, Junior scored again, and so did Hunter. Um, I did get offered an interview, and I did go to the interview this month. And that was because the interview was with Burton. Burton offered me an interview. That's a real big. That's a that's a big job. They're in League One right now. They used to be in the Championship. They did go down to League One and get relegated last season. They went straight back up into League One. They offered me an interview. I think at the moment they're in position 18th in League One. So I did go to the interview just because that is a big club, great facilities, a good reputation. But they didn't offer me the job. Probably, possibly because I did ask to go at the end of the season. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to take the job. I just wanted to see if they would offer it to me. And then I'd have to think about it. I didn't even think about it. I just thought, let's go to the interview. I can think about it if they offer it to me. Luckily, they did not. That would have been a tough, that would have been a tough choice. But I don't think I could leave Bath right now. After that, though, we played against for the last game, Barrow. Barrow are ahead of us at the moment in the league. So this was a big game. This is a team that's ahead of us in the league. If we could win this game, we could try and keep them back. And not if they beat us, they'd probably escape up through the league. And you can see here, this was a ridiculous game. We had three shots. Three on target, though. They had 26 shots, but only six on target. We had 50-50 possession. And Junior scored. And Barrow could not get through our defense. It was ridiculous. I was sat here just like with my arms, you know, just stood still, just like shaking, like, come on, come on, let's do this. And we got it. That was an important win there. So the month wasn't too bad. It was, you know, we lost the momentum, but it was still a good month. Today, though, we're up against Torquay. Torquay are 15th at the moment in the league. So they're not doing great, but they are predicted to come 20th. Actually, we're predicted to come 24th at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it shows you how much that means right now. But I'm hoping we can beat this team. Look at that 24th prediction. Duh. Gah. What, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? This is a big game. If we can win this, who knows what could happen. Uh, for today's match, Junior obviously continuing his form up front. 15 goals in 21 games. Very good. Um, we've got Kinnan over here. He's still doing quite well. Slightly better than Hunter. Hunter's come on and played quite well. Kinnan's not played great, but I still prefer him. We're going to play Lewis Rayleigh as attacking midfielder. I know he's not looking great, but I, say, I think he's just getting used to the team. It could be coincidence that the games we've had recently have not been good. So, you know, is it because of him or is it coincidence that's affected his rating? Uh, Billy Murphy is in for central midfield at the moment for... Kouye is a player I trust, so I don't mind him being there, but I really need to get in that player from Bristol Rovers to come in and take his place. Uh, the back is all the same as usual, and of course we've got Bob Bruce, not on the bench, but maybe in the near future. You know, if someone gets injured, Rob, Bob Bruce may have an opportunity. You know, if Riley gets injured, he could jump into the first team possibly if I wanted, but we'll have to wait and see. But let's jump into the game. It's exciting times at the club. I can just feel the whole club is just excited. Everyone just feels really intense right now. We just got to keep going. Just keep doing what we're doing. And who knows how this end of season could go. And if it could happen, it could be just disappointment. You know, being top 10 though, it's weird. If I got out the playoffs, I'd feel very disappointed now. But we shouldn't be. So I always hate that. We are favorites here, so we should encourage them. Hmm... We should be winning this match. And this is another game at home, so it'll be good to see how many fans are here for this game. That seems to be an okay amount. Probably about a thousand. I would try I would probably suspect. Let's put on extended. Ah, there we go. Apologies if my commentary the last couple of videos has not been as good as normal. I, I think the intensity and excitement of the last couple of uh Months has just been getting to me. Actually, there's a lot of fans over there as well. But I think the excitement's been getting to me. I feel like I've just been trying to jump through this as much as possible. I've just been enjoying playing, actually. <laughs> you know, when things go well, you just enjoy playing. So, like, 
I've just been constantly planning just trying to get recordings out to get them done. So I'm quite a bit ahead, actually, probably, of when you guys see it. More, though. Safe hands. Nothing really came out there. Riley, Riley, come on. Riley, why did you walk away? He left the ball. It was a great opportunity to do a nice little counterattack there. The defender tried... There was a terrible move there, but luckily Eve was smart. He got in the way. He didn't do anything reckless. But Torquay now with a corner. And there we go. Got it out. But they've still got the ball. Still dangerous. There we go. Eve again. Eve's not been too bad. I don't trust him completely. Like Kitschka last season was great. Um, I don't think Eve has got to that standard. I don't know. I just don't feel as safe with him. Maybe the defenders have been doing more of the work. I think Zach Viner and Manny Monfi have been really good for us. Riley now have a free kick. Okay. Right into the wall. It did say he was... I think he's got the same rating for free kicks as Ashton. I think they're both of a 12. But obviously, I'm assuming it brings into other things like intelligence and stuff to go with that. But here we go. Murphy now with the corner. Intercent. Didn't really get anyone, but we still got the ball. Leyland now gets it to Sarpong. Gets tackled, but Riley has it. Sarpong again. Sarpong, there we go. Kiernan to Riley. Ooh. Okay. He was surrounded by two defenders. The goalie was able to run. We're getting a lot of these free kicks at the moment. Riley again hitting the wall. Riley, maybe we should take you off those free kicks. This is the first time I've seen you take free kicks. I'm not sure if you're uh, as good as Ashton. So Layla now throw in. But then again, Ashton's not good at free kicks from that side. That doesn't suit his foot, if I remember correctly. Murphy now getting up to Riley. Not seeing great things from you at the moment, Riley. Come on, you got to show these fans that you deserve to take the position of Wintle. Or well, I'm going to put Ashton there instead and put Hunter on the wing. I'm trying to give you a chance, though. Riley up to Morius. Oh, okay, that was a good ball by Riley. We can't blame him there. Morius tried to shoot. He always puts a bit too much power in, which can either be perfect, is exactly what it needs, or it hits the bars a lot of the time. But at least it shows good moves. We're playing really well. We've got quite a bit of domination right now. A lot of the highlights have been ours. A lot of the possession has been ours. I'm I'm pretty com I'm quietly confident, but anything can happen in an instant. Kiernan, you know, he again he's not He's not a good shooter. We we've spoken about this before. That's not his forte. His kind of forte is just uh his speed, basically. And he's okay at most of the other things. Riley found himself with the ball. Been pretty, pretty bad when it comes to shooting today. We've had eight shots, three on target, 60% of possession. I don't feel the need to go on attacking right now, because I feel like we're just getting enough shots as it is. We should be scoring, though, with this many shots. Off a bit of encouragement. Uh, let's, not go, let's not go too crazy. I think everyone's quite... There's a few people okay, fairly good. Eh. Fans, or we can still win. Let's give the fans what they expect of us. Okay, I didn't really improve anyone there. Let's see how many people are here for this match today as well. The kicker up to Kiernan. Back to Murphy. Come on, Murphy. There we go, Riley. It's just this first part. Though, so there's probably not going to be anything here. It'll probably turn off in a second. But it looks like it's continuing. Kiernan to Junior. And look at that. Yes. Sometimes that is an actual highlight when the halftime actually begins. And Junior continuing his good runner form. He's actually had a very good season. It's really nice to have him as our player. I love that. I love having lone players come on and then you bring them into your team. That's always so nice, you know. It just shows that sort of commitment of them. 1,400 people here today. That is a good amount of people. We're starting to actually get, like, always above 1,000 attendants. That's what I want to see. But this stadium can hold 8,000 people, so we're still nowhere near what we need because... I'm assuming probably keeping the stadium going is costing us a lot of money. We need that money. We're still in debt at the moment. We're not in debt, sorry. We're still in the minuses right now when it comes to the money. We need more money. Okay. Billy Murphy needs to come off. George Rigg. Player I trust. You know, he's, he's he was with us from the beginning. But he's always a player I can trust. Same with Billy Murphy. And uh, we'll bring on Batten for a month. We're going to keep our lead at the moment. Obviously, he's got 6.9, uh, 69%. They're both looking a little bit tired. And we'll take off Ashton. Ashton's not really done much today. 
And he's also looking a little bit tired. Swap him for Brendan. There we go. Let's go, guys. Keep it coming. You're controlling this match completely. Riley with a... Oh, Riley, you've hit that wall every single time. I mean, Ashton doesn't always do a good free kick. It usually just goes over the goal. But at least he's not hitting the damn wall. Duh. You got one job, Riley. Okay, you haven't got one job. You've got quite a few jobs, but still. Their team now have a corner. Don't you dare, please. Let us win this match. This will be massive if we win this. He'll keep us at the front of the pack. Okay, they've still got the ball. Tackle them. Someone. Someone get the ball. Don't let them do it. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you. What a save. What a save. That was a perfect position to shoot right in the middle. At the moment, we are second, drawing on points with Barrow. This is insane. And we're four points away from falling out the playoff. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, let's keep it going. Hold the line. Do I go defensive? But I feel like there's no point going defensive because we're controlling most of this game. If I go defensive, I'm just bringing them on to me to have a chance to score a lucky goal when we could just keep pushing at them and controlling the game. I'd rather do that. Junior, again with that heavy shot. Strong shot, but it worked before, obviously. He smashed it right into the top of the net when he scored, but don't you dare... Oh, thank you, Eve. I just said today that I, you're a player that I don't always trust in the, the two sticks, but you've been great today. He has actually been great today. Every time we've needed him to make a save, he has done it. Maybe I've been wrong about you, Eve. Maybe I should check your stats again. Ooh, this could be a red card. That would be perfect. A red card. There'll be a man down. One nil up. And there we go. Red card for Torquay. You're out of here. And here we go. Hunt over free kick. See, Riley, look at that. That was a much better free kick. Obviously, it's a different type of free kick, but he almost got it right into the main group of players. Anything could have happened there if one of our players had grabbed the ball. Don't you, guys, don't you damn well let them score. They have one man down. Whew, okay. Okay. Okay, now let's just go contain. <laughs> Just for the last, like, three minutes, just, uh, you know, just try and hold the ball. Waste time. We had the same shots on target. Riley. Okay. Uh, okay, at least he didn't hit the wall this time. That's that's all I can say. That's all I can say. I'm just happy that we've got the win. The win is ours. Torquay are out. There we go. 1-0 win. It's exactly the type of thing we need to be winning. A good win, boys. Well done. Ah, oh, look at that. Second place. If we can win our next game and Barrow, you know, fall or mess up, we would be in the automatic promotion position. And we would win our first ever trophy. We've not won a trophy yet. We, you know, we've been doing well, but you can, like, go up so many leagues and never win a trophy because you just go through the playoffs and other automatic positions. You can see a hunt minus 104. Wow. Let's a quick look at Dale Eve. I want a quick look at him. Let's look at his numbers at the moment. He looks worse. Like every time I look at him, it looks like his stats have gone down more. But 24-28. So he's played 24 games, then 28 goals. That's pretty good. You know, in this level of league, that's pretty good, especially considering his previous ones. It's about the same. Eight clean sheets. He's, he's got eight. That's actually really good when you can see he was in the league south. Eight clean sheets then, 41 games. But in 24 games, he's already got eight clean sheets. I guess we could say he's done very well. 24 28. Let's see. Uh, ah, Kishka. How was your time last season? 46 18. That was a good amount. So you played about double the games he has now. So that'd be 16 clean sheets. Yeah, he's probably playing about as well as you did last season, actually. Huh, maybe I've been wrong about him. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you will join us for the next month. It's going to be big times. Hopefully. This is going to be a big month. We've got a lot of games this month, as you can see. Next, we'll be back against Tranmere. And then we'll have the rest of the month. Kidderminster, that could be a massive game right there. And then we'll play the last game against Ebb's Fleet. So you guys have got two more games to see. Tranmere and Ebb's Fleet. This is going to be 
I'm going to be nervous this entire time. I don't know what to say. I just hope we don't fall down. I hope we don't. But I'll see you guys then. Fingers crossed. I always say that. Why do I always say that?